Hi guys, welcome back on my channel. Today we are going to do those beautiful 3D roses. Check them out in here. Yes, they're really cute with some caviar beads and I love it because they don't smell. They don't smell like the acrylics because it is a 3D gel plastiline. And I have really enjoyed doing this uh, designs and definitely you will be able to see many more of those 3D gel designs on this channel. So if you're new in here, click the subscribe button as there is lots of great tutorial in here. Let's start. So I show you the design again. <clears throat> That's the 3D roses with a tiny bit of the Swarovski crystals and the beads. You are going to need the 3D gel for that. And I've got some one from eBay, like I've got white and I mix it red with the white to receive the pink. And that's what we are going to use it. Also, you can see on my hand, I have put the glove because we are going to touch the products quite a lot, uh, which is uncured and you don't want to be overexposed and get some allergic reactions. So I have just cured my tip, which has the top coat on it. And I find that you need kind of a sticky layer uh, for the 3D gel to work breast. So I'm just putting a tiny bit of the soak of base gel and just like kind of give it a little bit of the inhibition layer. You could go straight away on the color, but sometimes the colors uh, from the gel polish polishes, they transfer and then your design can go messy. So I didn't want that. So I, you can see I've got my product in here and what I'm going to do is I will just pick up a tiny bit of it and mix in my fingers like roll it in. If you're working, ah, lose the ball. If you're working on the mat or anything like that, just make sure you clean it. So I'm just using a needle dehydrator to make sure I can clean it. Cameraman catch the ball. <laughs> so yeah, I, I have got my ball back. I'm going to cut it because you need it. Uh, we needed a smaller piece. So there we are. Roll it in into a nice ball. And now I'm just flattening it up. So you can see what I'm doing. If you feel it, it is not um, too playable. Just dip in your finger with the gloves on and uh, a poly gel solution. And that's kind of shape we want to get. So this is a nice shape. And now I can peel it off from the table. And you can use either that wood stick or I'm going to use my cuticle uh, pusher to go around it. Uh, sorry, my dotting tool. So that's the middle of the rose. I'm just going to make sure it's nice and curly. Okay, so that's the middle done. Now, once we've got the middle done, basically what I'm going to do is I will roll a couple more balls, which I'm going to flatten. So again, I dip in my finger and I'm just making a flat petals. Once I have lifted it up, you can use for that also the new form as well. I'm going to place it. And then just shape it. You have to be very like gentle with it so you don't squish your flower. Yeah, and we kind of carry on. So I'm just picking another ball. Okay, 
and another one. I'm going to dip in my finger. I think this is probably even quicker and less messy than the acrylic 3D roses. And at least it doesn't smell. And I think I'm going to swap for the 3D um, gels compared to the acrylics, mainly because of the smell. And we're going for another one. <laughs> it is kind of designed good for kids as well when they used to play with the plastiline. I remember quite a lot with my daughter when she was young. With out of glove is definitely much easier, but I do really recommend that you using the gloves. And what is great, you can play with it as long as you like, like reshaping the petals and... Okay, now um, I want to stick that into my tip now. So what I'm going to do is I will just place a ball of the base and I'm going to peel that out from this dotting tool. And now we are going just to place it on the tip. Just finding a blessed place for it. Okay, and I wanted it to stand a little bit, so make it stand and then quickly cure it. So that's the place for my rose. I'm going to cure it. Be careful putting it to the lamp so it doesn't fall. That's it. And in the meantime, we can create more inside of the roses and more petals. Those gloves are a really nightmare. <laughs> okay, I can take out my design. And now we are going to create a couple more uh, of the middle of the roses, plus some petals for the rose as well. This one is a really nice petal, which I'm going to apply in here. If it doesn't want to stick in, you need a bit more of the solution. Yeah, that's what I'm going to need. Okay, and now we have filled up those empty space. 
I'm going to shape my petal. See, there's like a wee broken place in here, so I'm just perfecting that place. That's it. And for a balance, we're needing some tiny, small middles of the rose, like a wee bats of the rose. It is really important also as well that you do really clean the table you, put, you play with, otherwise you've got lots of bits and pieces of the glitter and other things. Okay, so I've got another middle and you can either roll it the same like we did on the dotting tool or you can just go straight into your fingers. So basically I have just roll it into the wee tiny bat. Again, tiny bit of the base. Actually, we'll go for three bats, why not? And now I just need to pick it up. So I've got one. I want another one and another one. I'm going to clean my table again just so it's easier to work with. And I've got another middle of the rose. Roll it in the finger. Have to be so gentle with this part. and place it in. I think it will be nice to add to this one maybe one or two petals just so it is half open. So I've got this petal here. Tiny bit more solution so it sticks in nice. repeat it's really therapeutic uh, same the caviar beads like I could sit for hours and keep applying it actually I would love to see your creations as well so just hashtag uh, on the Instagram just hashtag Dorota Palitska uh, same on Facebook uh, because I will be very happy to see your work too I can still save this petal and I show you guys that even if something doesn't look nice, 
Once we place it right, it is going to look okay. Ta-da! So this way I've got half open rows and I want one pet, like one small middle of the rows, which is lying more into the lying direction. So let me clean, quickly just clean that up, clean my tool so the product doesn't stick in too much to it. And we are doing the last bud and then we'll decorate it with the gems. But yeah, keep this work coming up because I want to see it as well. So basically I have just flattened it up and now I'm going to roll it. Okay, you can see I have just kind of rolled it in my fingers. And you can see there is a nice middle. So I'm just picking it up. See, the biggest trouble with it is you, you need to be really gentle so you don't squish it. Okay, there is a wee a little bit of the ragginess, so I want to just smooth that out. And leave that part a little bit more. Oh, come on, curl. See, I need to be very gentle to don't damage the other ones. Yay! Okay, so I have created another very tiny bud and I'm going to give it a um, cure after we stick in the gems. So I will use the base as well for the gems, just like a wee tiny brush. And the gems, you can see that's kind of quite raised. So you want to place some gems in there so it is not as raised. And I've got some pink ones. And the pears. Oh my goodness, I love these pears. Let's place some pears in there. Wow, that's cute. That's nice. I love these pears. So tiny bit more base. I don't know where I get them from. <laughs> okay, so I've got the pearls, maybe one more gem in here. Let's go for a clear one. So this way the rose doesn't raise as much and I can give it a cure. You don't have to cure it completely because we are still going to place a couple of the gems and the caviar beads. And if I would place the caviar bits on the clients, I would use the base with the top coat because that's always last best. Same like I do with the Swarovski Pixie. This way it just doesn't come off, like doesn't matter what you do. So it will be nice to place some chain of the bits in here. And there. So we have kind of like a wee design. And 
and I'm just dipping in my brush into the caviar beads. This is really fiddly, so I show you guys maybe just one and the rest on the speed up. And the best way to do it is kind of put like a large scoop of the crystal of those beads and then move them like from the side so they kind of spread into the place into a neater line see i'm just that's it so I'm just placing them like quite a few of them and then moving them into the line. I love them, they're so tiny. I think they, the tiniest ones looks best. But obviously, yes, they are more time consuming. Just in the comments, you can also let me know what else you would like to see on this channel. Because uh, I'm happy to produce all different kind of things for you. I think that's plenty. Don't want to overdo this design. So I'm just going to give it a flash cure and then go with the top coat around it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel. And that's one of the first tutorials you have ever seen by me. Because there is quite a lot of different interesting things on this uh, channel. Including the lots of designs. Because I love designs and um, also a new structure as well like how to do the rebalance a bit of theory so lots of different interesting things in here and now i'm just applying the top coat also i need to apply the top coat as well because we had this uh, base so the tip is not as shiny So remember, hashtag Dorota Palicka because I want to see your work too. And that's the tip finish. We just have to cure it. And that's again the previous one as well. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Bye.